Where are you going? Oh, bye bye. My little dog always chases the birds. G'day and welcome to the South African Lawn. Okay, so today's not going to be a massive intense video and crying about boreholes and all that. Uh, today I want to talk to you about some of the issues in my lawn. Uh, the other day we had wetting agents, today I'm going to talk about weeds and weed control. Stick around. Okay, so I watched one of the Formula One races and I saw this guy walking up and down the pit lane, talking to drivers, talking to teammates, and I'm going to try and mimic or imitate that today. Um, and I'm going to talk to some of the weeds and I'm going to ask them what they are here for. Okay, so first up, uh, sorry, uh, Bindi, oh, I don't even know if this is Bindi, but it looks almost like it. Um, tell me why you are here. Hello, I am here because I want to be here. Okay, so that's Bindi or whatever he is. Um, thank you for chatting to us and telling us why you are here. Okay, so enough of the pit lane. I'm not creative enough to make up all those voices and accents the whole time. Okay, so let's talk about some of the concerns in the lawn. Um, some of them I'm stressed about and some of them not really. So I've got some broadleaf issues um, which I'm going to control today. So I just want to show you, I don't even know what they are, but there they are, some of them there. Um, but there's not a whole lot of them. And then also another slight issue that I had, this lawn had some kukuyu in and because of all the tilling, I'm sure some of the clippings were in there. Some of them germinated or came through. Um, so I've got spots where kukuyu is growing. I also had goose grass, which actually uh, most of them I pulled out and they're dying off because they were annuals. Um, so yeah, so I've got, just want to show you. There's a, oh, there's another broadleaf and then yeah, I've got some kukuyu growing. Those I'm gonna try and pull out for now. There's not a whole lot of them around. Um, but I want to try and get them under control as soon as possible because killing Kikuyu and not killing Kentucky Blue Gross is quite difficult. Okay, another thing that I just quickly want to talk about, I'm not going to waste a lot of time, is how cultural practices can make a massive difference regarding your weed, weed issues. Okay, so here's my lawn that I mow uh, two to three times a week. Um, well, not this week, I was so busy with the borehole. In any case, um, so I mow this two to three times a week, and as you can see there, it's very close to the spot I'm going to show you, hardly no weeds, and then as you get to the side here, on the edge, some of the grass, and there is a ton of weeds, just have a look there, it is crazy, um, so obviously because mowing, mowing a little shorter, some of the weed, weeds just can't withstand the the height of cut so they die off um, but that's incredible so the only thing that i'm really left with is um, the weeds that really grows close to the surface of the soil okay so i'm ready to go okay so the product that i'm going to use is this bandweed um it's a product that i've used in a previous video so i'm not going to go through the whole process again and i'm going to use this one liter hand can pump sprayer the reason why i'm using this is i'm not going to fill Six liters or, or, or make six liters of product or ten liters of product and do a blanket spray I'm only gonna spot spray because I haven't got tons of it in my lawn however around the edges I've got quite a lot but it's not a big area that I need to cover so I'm gonna use this one liter sprayer and I'm gonna mix in my product okay so what I've got is I've got obviously my band weed, uh, weed killer which is MCPA that is um, potassium salt let me just um, yeah potassium salt and then I've got my, let me just add some water. Okay, and why I'm mixing on the lawn, I don't know. Does not matter. 
Hopefully I do not spill it on the lawn. Not a single drop. Surfactant. I went with recommended rate. Just gonna give this a good shake. And then we're good to go. Okay, so I'm still gonna walk in straight lines, but I'm only gonna spot spray. Um, the reason why I'm not walking in lines is just so that I don't miss spots. Um, and I'm putting my PPE on because I'm working with herbicide. It's good to go. Okay, and I'm, I'm setting this to a fine mist once again. Um, and I've added surfactant because we want it to stick to the leaf of the plant. It's a foliar application. Okay, cool, so I've managed to spray all the spots that I wanted to on the lawn. Now the moment I've been waiting for. Obviously I want to do some beads around the, the lawn and so on just to give it a, another dimension. I think it'll look great. Um, so I'm going to spray these weeds that's growing on the side and hopefully we can control some of them. I'm sure we won't be able to control all of them. Let's have a look. Okay, so the dog's right in my walk path there. Um, so this one I'm just going to go full throttle and blanket spray the whole edge here and hopefully do one, maybe a return pass. Okay, come Mila, Iso, come, Iso, come, Iso, Mila, come, pass up. I'm keeping it a little bit lower because um, this nozzle of mine sprays quite a bit wider than your average sprayer so here's a ton of weeds just gonna spend some time here just trying to get all of these leaves wet Ooh, what is that crab crabgrass Holy hope. I hope not. It's not something I want to deal with. Okay, so I think I've got everything. I'm just emptying this bottle on the bigger ones. Be sure not to get this on your liked flowers and things that you don't want to kill because it actually could kill some of your plants off yeah, that's about it, it's just creating a steam now I just really want to get this nice and empty so I can rinse it properly okay so that's about it, uh, I think I've done what I wanted to um, I'll put an update on some of the weeds or hopefully if they die off if it doesn't die off then I won't but I'll put an update in one of the next videos um, regarding the weed issue especially on the side I don't think in the lawn you'll pick it up that easy uh, because the lawn is looking quite good uh, but yeah that's about it okay so I'm going to wrap up the video here thank you so much for watching thank you 
uh, to all the subscribers my subscriber counts climbing at the mo at the moment thank you so much to uh, Ben at Lawn Tips you shared my stuff I really appreciate it man um, I'm loving the lawn I'm loving making these videos thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and um, I'll see you in the next video cheers for now bye bye Boo. okay and just the last minute thought uh, springs up and running so the warm season guys there's tons of things to follow for you guys um, so keep watching I, I, I personally have Kukuyu uh, so you'll see a lot of Kukuyu renovations and things like that pretty soon. Cheers.